Oh wow, I wanna make a really short video talking about Roy Elmeran. I've been talking about this for a while. I wanna tell you a little bit about what I know about him, why it's important to me. I made another video uh, not too while ago, not too long ago, talking about it. I was uh, like, uh, kind of yelling a little bit, and I do that. Sometimes I don't like it, sometimes I want to do it. Regardless, I want to do it sometimes to make a point. Sometimes I try too hard to make a point. Sometimes it's my bobbling. Bobbles my head like I'm on I'm a, I'm a one of those bobbleheads. Right. Sometimes I just don't know what to say or what to think. I got a few points to make. It's gonna be short, hopefully only a few minutes long. This video right now that you're watching right now or reading about or I don't know, but you know, I'm only gonna say a few things. That's right, there's a few things. I'm gonna make it brief, just a few points, not all the points that I wanna make, because there's always more where that came from. This rat. But I'm gonna try to be really brief. I'm trying to emphasize on that because you have no idea how deep this rabbit goes. This rabbit going deep. I'm gonna tell you about um, uh, why am I making this video? What, what, why, why am I talking about Roy on Discord and everywhere else? Where did it all start? What's this video about? Who is Roy? Why am I talking about Roy? Who is he? Why do I care? Why do you care? Why should we all go? I joined the Infocom's forum website in 2018. It went around. It was a good website. Uh, pretty good. A lot of people joined. Some people joined. In 2018, 2019, uh, it probably died in 2019. I talked about it a little bit off and on during that time, and a little bit after that too. I met some people on that website during that time. I think the website died. Uh, there was another website too that was similar. Um, that was like a sandbox. Um, it was like a clone in a way of the um the other website the infocoms website it was designed to help people get together so they can do a little bit of activism in america and around the world but mostly america so people can do protesting and activism so that people can meet like-minded people so that we can come together and uh you know if you don't like something you can uh, do a little a little rally, do a little protest thing, but you want to network and make some friends. That was the purpose. That was the purpose of the website. So we went on there. I went on there in 2018 and 2019. I would meet people. Other people would meet people. And we would talk to each other a little bit. I don't see any evidence of Rob Roy Emmerich on that website until like January of 2020 maybe December 2019 maybe a little bit earlier it's possible he was around a little bit um, earlier in 2019 maybe in the winter or the spring of 2019 and maybe I didn't really um, talk about him on my blog I would talk about some of the people on my blog I started a series called banning oatmeal so I don't think I am missing Roy in all 24 chapters of Benny Oatmeal, which the last one was published in September of 2019. I would publish it on my blog on steamit.com or hive.blog and some of the other websites, blockchain websites and blog sites and stuff like that off and on. I was writing about it during that time. And I would mess it in my in my daily blog, or I would write other articles randomly sometimes. But it was mostly just the banning oatmeal articles that I would write mostly about what was happening on Infocoms on that forum website. A it was an Infowars forum website called Infocoms, and. Uh, I was I would I would talk about stuff and talk about people and everything and uh, I don't think Roy was in it for some reason I mess in Roy on twenty twenty one third did I say thirteen zero three hmm wow okay so I said I liked the memes he said wow. 
I said I liked the memes he made about me. I also said the memes might be insulting. Uh, so I went back and forth talking about that. I mean, in, in one of the comments that I wrote. And I'm not sure if he liked it or not. But I was basically saying, I like it. But I can also see that it might be an insult. It might be. I said it might be. I don't know. Might be. And he's like, what are you saying? What are you trying to say? And I'm like, I like it. But it could also be a problem. It might be. It depends. Because I don't know. Because I don't know. You know, sometimes in life you just don't know. Sometimes that's how the cookie crumbles. Sometimes you just don't know. Sometimes you just don't really know. And how are you supposed to know? Especially when you don't really know a person. Oh, man. Roy used an avatar profile photo of Chris Fuller who died in a car accident in the UK in 2016. For a little while, I thought he was Chris. I thought Roy was Chris, and then I realized, or he told me, eventually, I think I might have figured it out on my own, because I was trying to figure out who Roy was, and so I was Googling his uh, his photo, and I figured it out. And figured it out that, that Chris died of a car accident. Speaking of accidents, I made a bunch of accidents and mistakes in this video already. Which I don't like, but I, I decided I'm just going to put this video out there. Sometimes you just got to do it even when you make mistakes. Sometimes, you know, you look at yourself and you say, God damn it, I'm a professional. I don't make mistakes, but even the best of the best do. That's right. Even if you're Dick Van Dyke trying to be the new Mary Poppins remake and you're like 96 years old and you're dancing on a table it's like what are you doing man but it's kind of cool i thought it was kind of cool to see it i didn't i mean i didn't i didn't actually see the movie i heard that there's a new movie like a mary poppins reboot movie that came out a few years ago and the original guy actor dude he was in it you know dick van dyke he's like 96 years old oh man sometimes in life you just own up to it no matter what it is you own up to it. I'm sure there's probably some stuff that I need to own up to. Maybe. I'm not sure. Get back to me on that. I'll get back to you on that. I'm not here to talk about that. This video is going long already. Because I go on rabbit trails and stuff. Which I love it. Because silly rabbit tricks are for kids. Um, is there audio delay in this video? Uh, maybe. I can't find a biography of Chris. I think Roy might have said he knew Chris or something. Were they both born in 1995? It says Chris died at the age of 21 in 2016. So what kind of relationship did Roy have with Chris? I thought maybe Roy is from America because I got a book from him. And I said it came from America. Assuming that's really Roy. Assuming it was a real address and it wasn't forwarded or something. Which I have no idea. Honestly, how would I know? But, uh, all I know is what I know. I got, you know, this book in the mail. And it came from Close to New York. Uh-oh, am I supposed to say more? So, I don't know. I don't care. I do care and I don't care, you know? Paradoxes and stuff. It's a long story. About me, what I'm saying right now is a long story. If you don't know, oh well, who cares? But I care. But I'm not here to talk about that seriously. We don't have time to talk about me and everything and why I do what I do. I can talk for 10 hours about it. And it's important. I think it's important. Maybe it's not. But I think it is. But I'm here to talk about Roy. Who is he? And, and, and why... Did he have an avatar of Chris? Why is Roy connected to Chris? Maybe it's totally random. Maybe it's unrelated. Maybe i am been uh, played. Maybe he's playing me. How would I know? Maybe this is all a big ploy by Roy. There's a lot of things that, uh, that Roy would say over the years. Going back to 2020 or 2019 or... 
maybe earlier, but especially early in January. January. Am I slurring my words? Sometimes in life, you slur your words and everything becomes blurry. When you're slurring, you become blurry. Life is a big mess like that, and you try to try to make mess. Try to make a mess of it? No, you try to make sense of it. Man. Man, why do I keep on saying the wrong words? What's wrong? What's what what's going on here? I don't know. Uh but anyways, I felt like um I really wanted to get to the bottom of some of this. I felt like it's important for a couple reasons. Um I felt like I wrote wrote I wrote down early on that I thought maybe Roy was causing problems and that he wanted people to not do stuff like he was telling people don't worry about stuff don't get involved uh just sit or, sit around and play video games all day I don't know if those were his, his exact words or if that was just me making fun of the guy like me trying to reword what he was saying um as a way of making a point like I always try to make points and sometimes I go out of my way to make a point like one of the things I would say to people would be like you know you can find people online and I can find a lot not not to say that I can always find people but I would sometimes say stuff like I think I could probably find you not to say that I could totally find you because it depends on a couple different things like depends on the website it depends on what kind of information you might have out there but I say it to make a point of people are not aware of how much of their information is out there and um, you know you know like I may not have t like total absolute access to to those websites some of the websites that may have um, some of that information about people. Um, some of these websites come and go kind of thing. And some of them cost money. If you want to know like somebody's home address. Or their phone number. Or their email. Some of it's free. Some of it's not. Uh, I've been on some of them. And it really depends. But my point is that. Uh, people spy on you. All kinds of people spy on you and stuff. And the internet is a crazy place that people think they understand, but they don't kind of thing. And the thing about the, oh, have I, have I consented to you, uh, for making a video kind of thing or, um, using my photo kind of thing. Like, that's a crazy thing that people just kind of say, people just kind of do, um, and it, it, I'm not exactly sure. I'm thinking, I'm thinking out loud. Like, where does that come from? That that um, that philosophy of of asking somebody for their consent if they can use you um, in in a photo, in a video, in a movie, in um, what have you. you know, a big combination. Of, um, I mean big combination of things like it doesn't really matter but i mean it does matter but it's like um where does where does all all that come from where does it stem from um i don't know exactly but i imagine that it's like it should stem from the concept of private property rights that's very important and if you own something then then you should have control over it. The problem with the internet is that we're dealing with things that are not physical. And that becomes very mucky. We want to muddy up the waters with these technicalities of who owns a digital copy of a, of a tangible asset, of a, of a tangible item. And laws were not really written to cover that, at least, you know, like thousands of years ago. If people didn't have internet, and I'm not going to say if nobody had any secret information, like secret internet that that we didn't know about. But for the most part, it's like I don't think a lot of people did, or maybe nobody had internet thousands of years ago. And law was not covering 
that kind of stuff and how would it because we're talking about the internet and digital stuff is similar to your thoughts and do you really want to deal with copywriting your thoughts you know what if somebody thinks of something and then you think of it are you gonna violate their copyright of a thought and and that's what the internet is for the most part like digital items don't don't exist um beyond the limitations of a of an electric wave that's traveling around you know electricity and you know it's like thunder thunder in a in a jar kind of thing that's what the internet is and computers and all this stuff and and data is traveling from one server to another server to another server to one computer to another computer to another computer to to and to and fro it's going through routers and devices and data centers and all these different kinds of devices machines and whatnot it's going through the internet the internet's a crazy thing it's a crazy place and and that's what makes me turn into a banana not just an oatmeal like i go crazy like a banana like a banana like i just um because i feel like people don't really understand it and so then i just go crazy and um so you know i talk about this and i've been talking about it for years and i've done crazy stuff and i feel like anybody can steal my identity and maybe they have because i put out a lot of stuff out there already and it's not like i can take it down even if i wanted to because it's all over the place hint hint and uh it's like you know what can i do but anyway it's just like um uh, I've been talking about Roy a little bit on and off, and I wonder sometimes I joke around a little bit. Sometimes it's joking, and sometimes it's not joking. But like I feel like I wonder: is he an old guy? Is he a young guy? Is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? Is he, um, is he me for the future? As he jokes around, or maybe it's not a joke, you know? And um, you know, I have all these different thoughts, and maybe it's not a big deal, or maybe it is, maybe it's not. But, you know, I'm just thinking about all this kind of stuff, and um, I have a lot of thoughts, and I've written about it over the years, about Roy and about other people and how it relates to a couple different things, and it's on my mind, and it's very important and not important at the same time, and I'm just thinking out loud, and I made this video, and I'm uploading this video that I'm making right now, and I'm making a few points, and I think it's kind of interesting Maybe I should show you a photo really quickly. Uh, I might include some links. Maybe not. Maybe I'm not. Uh, you can just go to my blog and try to figure it out. Good luck. Just go to my daily blog for today. Uh, Saturday, the 11th of June of 2022. Maybe I'll just include a link to that um, in the description of this video. It's not that important, but it is important in some ways. And maybe long term it might be, but maybe not right now. You know, kind of thing. So it's like... What can I say? What can I do? What can I say? To make a point. Make another point. Sometimes in life I try too hard to make a point. And like, even with like, uh, somebody mentioned the pagoda today. I was yelling at people. Yeah, I was yelling at people. Yeah. Uh, there are some videos of me yelling at some people in 2014. That's right. 2014. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's me. Oatmeal. Joey Arnold yelling at some people. A oh, girl. Maybe another, there was like two girls, and there was another guy, and maybe some other people, like two girls and two guys in that video. Um, I was at the Leaf Pagoda in Vietnam, and I was yelling, and you're, 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 you're probably wondering why. What? Am I yelling again? Yeah, yes, I think I am. And you were wondering why is he doing that, and um, sometimes, maybe I was just trying to make a point that time, and right or wrong, I was trying really aggressively to make a point and stuff, and I wanted to like... Um, melt your heart or destroy it uh, with the point and try to hammer it down so that nobody would ever forget but maybe it backfired maybe I, I tried too hard and sometimes I do try too hard right or wrong you can try too hard which is weird sometimes and sometimes I struggle with that concept of can you really try too hard to to really uh make a difference or to make a point or what have you and it kind of drives me off the wall maybe not maybe sometimes but um i just wanted to make a really quick video but this is 20 minutes now 
It was supposed to be just three minutes, uh, but I kind of enjoyed talking for 20 minutes, so I'm just going to say a few more things and end this video. Even though I want to say more, seriously, I want to say more, and I want you to listen. I don't know how many people actually listen to me. And, um, there's a lot of more things that I want to say regarding Roy, but in some ways I may not, um, do a lot more about Roy, at least maybe not all the time. Maybe on and off I may talk about him, I may write about him, I may talk about him in my videos or my memes and everything else, everything else, who knows? On and off I may do it sometimes, but I was thinking to myself, maybe I need to die down. Die down? Is that is that is that an idiom? Die down. Maybe I need to um, cool it, cool it. You need to cool it down. Oh, no, you don't go cool it down. Okay, grandma. No, you seriously need to cool it down, especially since your frames per minute, the FPS is not very good. I'm sorry, mama. Never meant to hurt you. Never meant to make you cry. So, in conclusion, I'm breaking up with Raw. That's the conclusion of this video. Hope you enjoyed 20 minutes of me saying a few things about Roy and how it's important to me in my life, even if it's not. That's fine. I believe it and I've written about it in my articles that's on the internet if you Google it. And there's still a lot of questions that I have. Like, I'm trying to figure out who is Roy to this Chris Fuller. I thought Roy was an American, but Chris Fuller is from... England! What does that mean? I don't know. There's a lot of questions, but I gotta do some other stuff. So I'm gonna do some other stuff. But sometimes I feel like, who is Roy? Is he full of paradoxes? Is he trying to make trouble in the neighborhood like Will Smith to Chris Rock? What's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it kind of a little bit good, a little bit bad? Uh, because Roy said some stuff like, you know, you gotta put away the Arnold Attic because it's not helping you, you're not living your life when you're doing the Arnold Attic, and he, you know, sometimes Roy says some stuff like that, that for, you know, that's, for, for example, that's an example, but there's like so many different things for the years, so many years, maybe not as many years as I thought, my bad, but he's like still, never, nevertheless, still a lot of years, and so I'm just thinking to myself, oh man, what a wonderful day, but at the same time, I'm thinking to myself, Roy, what are you doing, Roy, but I gotta like put away the shovel, digging my own grave kind of thing, oh man, what am I doing, what am I doing with this Roy dude, am I spending too much time talking about Roy, thinking about Roy, making videos about Roy, making articles about Roy, making memes about Roy, you because he thought of it, man. He started making memes about me, and I was like, "Wow, I like your, I like your memes, Roy. About me, Roy. I like your memes, Roy. I like it. I like it long." And then he was on that website. Oh wow, you were on that website, the Mean World US website. Oh wow, you went from Infocom's website forum to the Memes World. Dot US website and now it's over here and now you gotta you, you gotta come over here and then the, the Discord and you and you remember Griff man you remember Leviticus Leviticus Fall Wow Woo You remember uh, Paladin Woo You remember Benghazi and I wrote that I have a video called the Benghazi song not not the place in you know the other country and the uh, Hillary Hillary thing not that it's like I think it's spelled a little bit differently so it's like this old guy an actual old guy and I don't think maybe Roy's not an old guy I don't know but this Benghazi guy he probably is an old guy I don't know man I just don't know sometimes I just wonder I don't know but I just I don't know if I can handle this anymore so I'm I'm I'm, I'm cleaning out my closet mama I'm cleaning out my my closet Roy my homeboy I think I'm gonna stop making videos that's right make I'm never gonna make a video about Roy ever again yeah. Maybe I'm joking. Maybe I'm not. How would you know? How would you know? I don't know. Maybe this is cool. Maybe this is dynamite. Dynamo. You gotta go dig up the gold somewhere else. Mud. Gold in the mud. Ooh. Wow. Okay, Roy. All right, Roy. I'm just like, just tired of talking about you. Me. Tired of writing articles about you. Do you really want me to write articles? Is this why you do it? Is this why you chased me down and found me on YouTube and on this like stalked me and and we go down a um, comment thread hundred. 100 comments down, back and forth, having a conversation with these other on YouTube. You don't really watch my videos a lot until um, you may have watched a few videos, but for the most part, you're like just having a conversation with me, and I don't know why. I don't know why. This is what I want to know, Roy. What are you trying to do to me, Roy? What do you want with me, Roy? 
Sometimes I don't know what you believe. You're almost as bad as some people like, um, who is that guy I'm causing problems? I can't talk about it because if I do, I'm not going to say it because I think, uh, some people are going to flag this video. Maybe they will flag this video even if it doesn't even say anything about them. I literally didn't say anything about anybody. About anything that happened at any time in my life or in the history of the world. I didn't even say anything. But this video can still be taken down. And uh, because people are crazy. Whether it's staff or the AI or random people on the internet videos can be taken down and they have and you know over 7,000 videos of mine have been taken down so you know why not take down this video too and then I'll try to post it on another website on other websites and stuff and uh, that's how it works but um uh, I thought I would just say a few things about Roy my mind is exploding it's exploding um, so I'm not gonna say anything and try to compare Roy to anybody who might not have a backbone because that would be a little rude, don't you think, a man with no chin? Look, I got a chin. Look, I got a chin. Watch out or else I'm gonna call the cops. Just kidding.